According to the latest poll, less than one in ten Americans continues to describe COVID-19 as a crisis. Instead, about 87% of Americans are stressed by inflation. Inflation is also not just an American problem, and is happening in many countries. It is well documented that worrying about money is linked to increased levels of depression and anxiety. But besides these immediately seen effects, long-term stress can also elevate cortisol levels. This week, let's look at how this number one stress hormone affects our overall health and the immune system, and four natural ways to help lower the cortisol levels. I'm Dr. Han, and welcome to my classroom. Let's first look at what cortisol does to our body. Cortisol is a steroid hormone that is produced and released by the adrenal glands. Now, the level is regulated by the interactions or the neuroendocrine activity between the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary gland that is located in the brain. After cortisol is being released, it is then carried to different parts of the body by the circulation. It can affect almost every organ and tissue in the body. There are five basic roles of cortisol. Number one, it can regulate your body's stress response. It can trigger your liver to release more sugar for fast energy usage or burning during times of stress. Number two, it can also regulate fat and sugar metabolism. Specifically, cortisol increases blood sugar levels and increases body fat storage. It can also suppress inflammation. A short burst of cortisol can help to limit inflammation. And number four, it can also regulate blood pressure. Although we don't know the exact mechanism, high cortisol levels can cause high blood pressure. And lastly, it can help control your sleep. Wake cycle. Now, cortisol is at the lowest in the evening and highest in the morning, right before you wake up. It plays a role in the body's circadian rhythm. Your body needs normal levels of cortisol to function properly, but too much of a good thing can be harmful. It can lead to weight gain. And disrupt blood sugar levels. This is especially problematic in people with diabetes. Acute high level of cortisol suppresses the immune system and can weaken immune responses against infections. And most importantly, chronic stress from chronic illness and psychological factors can lead to a prolonged period of elevated cortisol levels. Now, the immune cell may get desensitized to cortisol, meaning they don't respond to cortisol as well, and chronic inflammation can develop. As a result, so what are the natural ways to balance cortisol levels? There are many natural ways to lower your cortisol levels. I'm only listing four ways that I would do. Number one, having a healthy sleeping habit. Chronic sleep issues have been associated with higher cortisol levels. A review article summarized 28 different studies, found that shift workers had higher cortisol levels, and more studies also showed rotating shifts are associated with poorer health outcomes such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. I understand that people who need to work night shifts do not have control over their sleeping schedules, but there are still few things you can do to optimize sleep, such as establishing a consistent bedtime routine and schedule that can help your mind and body ready to sleep. Try not to eat food and drinks that can stimulate your brain around six hours before your sleeping time. And cigarette smoke contains nicotine and can also affect your sleep. Many of us like to be on our phones before bedtime, but the bright light from the screen can also make it harder to fall asleep. Regular exercise can improve sleep quality, but it is best to avoid vigorous exercise two to three hours before bedtime. Talking about exercise, now too much exercise can actually increase cortisol. Studies suggest that around 100 to 200 minutes of low to moderate intensity exercise can help improve sleep quality, increase emotional resilience to acute stress, and help lower cortisol over time. 
Number three, having a nutritious diet. The food as medicine is a very broad topic. Other than avoiding some high sugar, high fat food, we can also try to eat specific food that has shown to lower cortisol release. For example, dark chocolate contains a lot of flavonoids and has shown to buffer stress reactivity in the adrenal glands and lower cortisol release. Healthy fats, in particular omega-3 fatty acids, are best linked to brain healing and reduced stress, and they can be found in fatty fish, nuts, and seeds. A three-week randomized control trial showed combined supplementation of fish oil at 60 milligram per day and dicosahexaenoic acid at 250 milligram per day significantly decreased cortisol levels when compared with a placebo. A longitudinal cohort study with 2,734 participants showed high omega-3 levels in blood were associated with less cortisol and inflammation. But not everyone can take fish oil. If you have diabetes, blood clotting disorders, and are taking blood thinners, or maybe pregnant or nursing, please talk to your doctor before taking any supplements and especially fish oil. Number four, last but not least, is be good to yourself. Studies have shown consistent feeling of shame, guilt, or just feeling not doing enough can lead to negative thinking and elevated cortisol. Learning to accept and forgive yourself is one of the first few steps that you can do that can lead to a overall better mental health. The bottom line is that we have all been under a lot of added stress in the past two years, and we are now also facing new problems in our society. Unfortunately, we do not have the power to change the bigger environment, but we do have some ability to manage our stress hormone levels through changing or managing our daily routine. Like always, thank you very much for supporting this channel. If you think this video is helpful, please hit the like and also leave me a comment on how you personally manage your stress, so that we can all learn from each other. And I'd like to take this chance to thank you all of you that have left me messages and comments, wishing me to feel better soon in the past week or so.、Uh, you guys are the best viewers that I could ever dream of, so I really, really appreciate all of you. And lastly, I hope to see you again next week. And meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy, and take care. Bye.